China has quietly introduced a new visual twist to its DF-41 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile System, showcasing a rarely seen single-color camouflage resembling tree logs. This stylistic update, first spotted by observers on Chinese social platforms, signals more than just a cosmetic choice. It reflects a strategic pivot toward greater survivability and deception in an era dominated by advanced reconnaissance technologies, including satellites, drones, and hyperspectral sensors. The DF-41, one of the most formidable weapons in the arsenal of the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, PLARF, has been developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CLT. It uses solid fuel, operates in three stages, and is believed to carry 10 to 12 nuclear warheads capable of targeting multiple sites independently. With an operational reach of at least 12,000 kilometers and potentially stretching up to 14,000 kilometers, the DF-41 is designed to strike virtually any location on Earth, including the U.S. mainland. This weapon system is deployed via the massive HTF-5980 mobile launch vehicle, manufactured by Tian. Measuring around 21 meters long and weighing about 80 tons, the missile uses an inertial navigation system bolstered by the Beidou satellite network. This configuration allows it to maintain a circular error probable, CEP, estimated between 100 and 500 meters, making it one of China's most precise nuclear delivery vehicles. Its mobility is a key feature, enhancing its survivability against preemptive attacks and allowing for rapid launch from varied locations. Although the DF-41's conceptual roots stretch back to the late 1980s, its development gathered momentum in the 2000s. Following reported tests beginning in 2013, the missile made a dramatic public debut during the 2019 National Day Military Parade. Since then, the system has been gradually integrated into China's strategic missile units. Satellite imagery has since revealed the construction of over 120 missile silos in northern regions like Xinjiang and Heilongjiang. This infrastructure suggests a hybrid deployment model, combining mobile units with fixed silos, to complicate adversary targeting. The adoption of the new single-tone green camouflage isn't merely about aesthetics. Unlike traditional multicolor patterns designed to blend into diverse terrain, this log-colored scheme offers quicker application and upkeep, especially in uniform environments like dense forests or wide plains. Moreover, the paint may include special materials that diffuse radar and infrared signals, reducing the missile's profile against modern detection systems. While the U.S. relies heavily on fixed-site Minuteman 3 ICBMs, China's mobile DF-41 draws closer comparison to Russia's Topol-M and Yars, though with newer technologies aimed at multispectral evasion and decoy integration. Strategically, this camouflage upgrade plays into Beijing's broader goal, to strengthen its nuclear deterrent by maximizing ambiguity. In doing so, China complicates enemy strike planning and increases its odds of surviving a first strike. This supports its doctrine of assured second strike capability, which underpins modern nuclear deterrence. With an estimated 400 intercontinental ballistic missiles now in active service and a total ballistic missile count exceeding 3,000, China's missile expansion has significant implications for global security. The enhanced stealth features of mobile systems like the DF-41 force rival powers such as the United States, Japan, and Australia to reconsider the effectiveness of their missile defense strategies. Ultimately, the sighting of a DF-41 wearing this new camouflage scheme sends a calculated message, China is continuing to refine its strategic arsenal not just through payload or range, but also through survivability, deception, and adaptability in a surveillance-saturated battlefield.